Hello all. Today we are going to present the equation of time and day and how it relates to the Earth's motion. I'm going to start us off with Cal, who will tell us more about the solar year. Hi everyone, my name is Cal. So my subtopic uh, within the equation of time and day will be the solar year. Um, so we did a voiceover recording, so the next video or uh, audio will explain what a solar year is. A solar year is known as many things such as the tropical year, the equinoctial year, and the astronomical year. A solar year is the amount of time it takes for the Earth to make one complete rotation around the sun. This is measured from one vertical equinox to the next, and it equals 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, 45.151 seconds. So what is a solar year? Another explanation would be the amount of time it takes for one season to repeat itself. The seasonal cycle does not remain exactly adjusted with the position of the earth, results in the tropical year being 20 minutes shorter than the time it takes Earth to complete one full orbit around the sun compared to the sidereal year. The number of solar years that occur in a solar year is not a whole number and a quarter of a day more happens before the solar year starts again. So how long does it take for one season to repeat itself? Some would say too long. <coughs> um, Over time, those days will drift from seasonal positions they used to occur during and this extra quarter of a day adds up to a full day after four years. This is the reason that we delay the beginning of March and add an extra day to the end of February every four years. This is called a leap day, and it does not add extra days to our lives, but simply helps our calendar get back on track, as well as change the way we see the gap that occurs over time. The process for a season to repeat itself is what we call a tropical or a solar year. So, who can tell me what a solar year is? Anybody? Is it like a year that uh, Earth rolls around the sun, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, thanks. Right. <laughs> How many hours are in a solar day? Huh? How many hours are in a solar day? Including decimals. Um, <laughs> 23.5 or 23. <laughs> Good. Wow. Oh, Your shot. <laughs> and that concludes my part of the presentation, and I now will kick it off to Christy as to explain about solar day. <laughs> How's it going? My name is Christopher Diaz. I'm presenting by the equation of time in relation to computer programs. I have GIFs included. We established. <laughs> <laughs> I, I included a GIF. And there's going to be buttons pressing. And you can ask questions, whatever. But listen to my beautiful voice. Um, we established a calendar some point in humankind's history, so there's the consistent X graph across the board. As we move along the X axis, we go through our days. We record time on a linear scale, progression, progressing down into different branches and subclasses of time. Hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, on and on. The main classes we keep track of is hours and minutes. As we move around the sun, velocity, orbit, pull, gravity, and the sun's focus changes on Earth. Our body's internal clocks react to the sun's positioning in the universe. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We wake up when the sun is brightest and go to sleep when the sun is dims. We wake up when the sun's focus is starting to intensify. We go to sleep when the sun's focus dissipates. We wake up when the Earth's positioning, our longitude and latitude is coming into the scope of the sun, and we go to sleep or relax when the sun's focus leaves our longitude and latitude.
Was that the end of your presentation? No. Hello. <laughs> now we're going to go into the sidereal day. So we talked about the solar year, the solar day, in contrast to the equation of time. This is going to be a brief explanation. Can you lose perceived time in a way? Humans perceive. Humans perceive time in a linear fashion and in a direct forward motion. The period in which the sun's scope is in focus with specific longitude or latitude represents the standard for how we can measure time. The sine wave represented below in the graph shows how many minutes we gain or lose depending on the spatial position. We maintain this gain or loss in a linear fashion by gaining the time lost in the southeast quadrant, but lose time by adding on lost time to our clocks. As a result, we return to linear fashion of perceiving time in relation to the sun. We like savings, leap year, etc. are the holidays made of as a result of this. So, yeah, 
we, have, we actually have the two. There are some still in existence, but we, we more lean towards the more conventional way of telling time. Right. Thanks. You talked about sundials. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of interested in those uh, in sundials. Do you have like more information? Like, you, could you explain more about sundials? They are outdated. Oh. <laughs> we mostly use them for art and sculptures around this time. Thank you. Any other questions or comments from Rick from the audience? Thank you for your time.